Hello everybody, welcome to episode 11 of All the Mods 9 to the Sky, where we get into Ender.io, an old favorite mod of mine. So let's see what it's up to these days. Okay, to start out with, I have two ideas here. Uh, I first want to get this Repair Talisman here. Uh, it's just as simple as making some high covalence dust. Uh, medium covalence dust and low covalence dust. Simple stuff. Don't know if this is required for it to start reading it. Uh, I just wanted to go a little bit down project E here. Okay. Uh, next is an alchemical chest. Simple enough. Uh, I want energy condenser. Uh, it's going to help us get plenty of resources. But the repair talisman. Uh, paper. Paper. There we go. Repair talisman. There we go. So now our stuff will slowly repair over time uh, so we don't have to worry about it. But for our energy condenser now, I would like to get uh, one of these energy collectors. All right, that, that's our start here. <clears throat> for this. All right. Energy collector. Uh, what we'll do is we'll set down this with an energy collector right beside it. And then we can tell it uh, we could have it make stuff for us that has EMC on it. So just type in EMC, uh, hashtag EMC. We'll see all of the stuff that has EMC on it, like uh, raw mutton or rotten flesh or cooked chicken. Um, but say we need glass. We don't need glass right this second. Just saying, say we need glass. We can stick the glass in here, and it's making glass from this energy collector. It's like emptying it out as soon as it gets done. But another thing we could do is come over here and say, take this stack of uh, raw beef or, I don't know, feathers, like this this type of stuff here. We can take it, drop it in here. It will immediately convert this into EMC, which will convert into glass. And getting golden nuggets. Don't know what we're getting golden nuggets from, but we're getting golden nuggets now. I'm wondering if it they they tried stealing from that. Uh, so yeah. We'll we'll have to place this somewhere nice. Uh, get a couple of these energy condensers done up. I'll probably do that between episodes. I just wanted to show you guys this here. Uh, so we got all of this. All right, so on to today's project. Um, it's actually not in the book what we're working on today, but it's something I, I want to get into because I used to play around with this mod a lot. Need six of those. 
And the mod is called Ender IO. <clears throat> Ender IO is going to allow us to clean up a lot of this wiring and stuff here. Uh, but we first start out with like a primitive uh, alloy furnace here, which takes no power, it takes coal. So we can grab some coal here, which we were kind of low on. Uh, that is odd. I don't think we need much of this. We just need to get the alloy or the dark steel ingots, which requires uh, iron, coal dust, and obsidian. So iron, coal dust, and obsidian. Coal dust is... Let's see here. Coal dust is made with an alchemical table. Blood magic. Hmm. Maybe. A squeezer can get us coal. So if we say break this for right now. And say we take, I think we're going to need like five. Okay. We can put that back on there and get the wrench and fix that. All right. Um, coal, obsidian, and iron. Right. Let's uh, grab two more pieces of obsidian. I just want to make two to start with. So we put those in there and we put coal in here. And this is this is one of the stepping stones into getting into further in uh, I can English. This is the stepping stone that will get us into Ender IO. Uh, I'm going to put all of those in there just in case that's enough power or, or one piece is enough to make that. So, uh, so now we want an alloy smelter, which we need a void casing, grain of infinity, which we get from sieving, iron bars and iron we know how to make. So we can make the two of those that we're going to need. And we're going to need iron gears. So get us a couple of those. And next is a cauldron. Simple, basic, vanilla cauldron. We got us a sag mill or alloy furnace. Okay, it was enough. This is it for the primitive. Honestly, you don't need it more than that. The uh, the other one takes power. It also requires capacitor. Capacitors in Ender IO come in three stages, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, yeah, you've got the basic, which is uh, 1x, double, which is pretty much 2x, and octagonal, which is 3x, or, well, actually, I think it's, like, more than just 3x. Uh, to make them gold, copper, 
Brains of Infinity. I make four of those. Double layer requires uh, a energetic alloys, which you make in the the thing. So we do need one of those capacitors. Let's let's keep our capacitors on us. We can stick that in here and it starts building up power. Okay. So now we will go with uh, at ender. Uh, we need the energetic alloy, which is one of the starting alloys. Glowstone, redstone, and gold. Uh, glowstone, redstone, and gold. So let's take tin, glowstone, redstone. Let's get tin and gold. Why do we only have eight gold? Do we have more gold? Yeah. We have more gold. Okay, so we can toss this all in here. And it processes. Uh, you can have it to uh, do what the Iron Furnace is doing uh, in Furnace mode, or just have it do Alloy mode. We're just doing Alloy mode right now because we need a couple of these energetic alloy ingots. Okay. Uh, so now we can take this. Uh, we're going to need more coal dust, it looks like. So we are going to need a way of having coal come in. Like, Uh, break that again. Toss, I guess, toss four of these in here. Um, because we don't have any coal, unless it's all in here. It's all in here. Okay, I was like, why don't we have any coal? All right, so now uh, we can at ender passitor. Okay. Double layer. There we go. We got the stuff for that. Let's make one more of these and see if we can actually go to the higher layer. So what is required to turn this from a double layer into an uh, a octatic layer? Uh, it requires vibrant alloy ingots. Vibrant alloy ingots made in there with energetic alloy and ender pearls. Uh, we've got ender pearls over here. So we can take a stack of ender pearls. Come back here. We can take this. This and this goes in here. We just need two of those. And what else did we need for this? Uh, glowstone. There we go. Uh, here soon, maybe, I don't know, a few more episodes. We'll, we'll uh, get this sped up. So now we can take this and turn this into uh, the octatic. We come over here. We can take this and trade that out. Not only does it allow it to store more power, it also speeds these things up so fast. So we're going to need four of these guys. Uh, use. 
we're going to need more energetic alloy, which is, remember, redstone, glowstone, and gold. Might as well make the entire stack. We're going to need a lot of this, so. And the reason why we're going to do this is twofold here. One, I want it to run our power and our logistics, our, our logistical piping and everything that we don't use yet. Yeah, like we don't have enough power yet. We have to look at the upgrading our power production. Okay, so go here. It has two more of doubles. This will get us the this after we make the glowstone. And Ender IO has such awesome things. So one of the things is the sag mill here. Uh, do, 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 do. Couple more of these gears made up, sag mill. And I will set the sag mill right here. You see it requires capacitor as well. There are capacitors you can find uh, out in the world in some packs, but I don't know if we can do that in this pack. Now, one of the things, like we were having issues making coal dust. Now we can just get coal dust that super fast. And sulfur, apparently. Okay, so now that we've got the sack mills that done up. Uh, one of the things is uh, what I really was hoping to get it for is all of this cabling here is, is bulky. Like it is literally bad. So we can actually go in here uh ender and type in conduit and ender conduits are so fantastic we can make energy conduits which requires conductive uh conductive alloy ingot which is copper alloy ingot iron and redstone. Copper alloy ingot is just copper and silicon. So simple. So we can take a stack of this, uh, copper, redstone, and iron. And these four things will make what we need. So we first start out by turning the Certus Quartz dust into silicon. And, oh, yeah, it processes three at a time for the basic smelting instead of one at a time. So it goes three times faster, quicker, and you can actually configure the sides up through this interface with, you know, a push, pull, push and pull, disabled or none. It's very, very easy and I enjoy it so much, this mod. Like I said, it's been ages since I played around with it, so feels good to be able to get back into playing with it. Uh, and it's actually one of the few things 
uh, that I have an idea for this area here. So we're going to also, while this is processing that, make us a sink. Is, I know it's random thoughts, random thoughts with Malcor, but we just, I just want to have a sink. Because we're, we'll get to this here in just a few seconds. Okay, so this, this, this. We get this condu conductive alloy ingot. Now we also need conduit binder. Uh, and to make that, you need gravel, sand, and clay. I think the only thing we have in here is sand and clay. I'm going to check to see if we got any. Oh, uh, any gravel somewhere in here? One piece. Okay. Well, what we've got, we'll have to use and deal with it. A conduit binder. We can make 16 of it right away. And if I'm not mistaken, we can take clay in block form here. Which, by the way, does have EMC. wonder what use that would be. And we can put it in here, and yeah, we get a couple clay balls and a couple silicon. Not what we're looking for. Yeah, we get more that way. But that's kind of cool. Okay, so we've got 40 conduit binders. Uh, I think that should be enough. We can toss this in here. Let this melt. Okay, so we got our first six of conduit binders here. We take the conduit binders along with the, this and we get cut, uh, energy conduits. Energy conduits, very useful. It's going to be what's replaced our uh, basic universal cables here so it's it's gonna be cool it's gonna be good it's gonna be good um but first i want to do conduit uh fluid conduit pressurized fluid conduit i requires fuse Ports. Just waiting to see if we can get the right fuse quartz. There we go. Requires nether quartz for pressurized fluid. So we can't do that yet, but we can take regular glass and conduit binder. Oh, it has to be, has to be what's called clear glass. Okay, clear glass is gotten by putting regular glass in there and it alloys it to what's clear glass. Okay. Uh, conduit binder. Okay, so 24 of those. We also need now item conduits. <clears throat> we need pulsating alloy ingots, which is made by, well, breaking it down in a crafting table. But to make them, it's ender pearls and Iron, so we can get a stack of iron for this. And yes, we're, we'll go back to making the rest of the one things. 
and we're going to need 1632. There we go. Should be enough of this. All right. Get these in here and get some pulsating ingots. And let that process. We really, really need to fix this up a little bit more. Okay, so pulsating nuggets. And now we should be able to make item conduits. Okay, 48, that's good. We're going to need a couple of couple drawers. So let's make up two single drawers super easy. Okay, so we should have everything I want for this over here. And I will set this up. One drawer here, one drawer here. I will take the sink and set that here. And what we will do is fluid, fluid, fluid. I don't know how you did that, but okay. Fluid, fluid. Okay, so we, we have a roof over here now from brown mushrooms. And we'll just set this all up here. Show you guys how we're going to set this up, okay? Step one, we want to set this to extract. We want this to say redstone never active, and we don't have to worry about the rest of this. On this one, we would want reds, uh, extract off, but insert on. Okay, so we'll do that now with all of these. Just the ones that we placed on the buckets. So that water goes into it. And like, there we go. Simple and easy like that. Next, we want. We want to pick those up and yeah, I, I, I figured that was what was going to happen. Um, let's fix these. Red mushrooms can break anything. I, I, there we go. Good. Next, we want uh, the item conduits on these two. On this one, uh, we're going to say your extract. Uh, conduit channel green is fine. Okay, so it extracts on green and it will not insert. On this one, we want it to insert on brown 
but not extract, okay? Now we'll set these guys all up here. You see that it's making a pretty much conduit where, where you can see that they're both touching each other and passing along information. Now, if we click this, over here on the right-hand side, we have the items or the fluid. So we can go here to items. We can extract on brown and insert on green. So we'll do that with all of these. Extract brown, insert green. Extract brown, insert green. Very simple method. I love this interface here. Okay, so now we just hook these guys up like so. And let's go grab some sand real quick. See how this uh, fully works. So sand, take a stack of sand here. And on this side, which is the insert side, we'll put it in. And what it should do Oh, always active. And we need to make all of these always active. Forgot about that step. Okay, so we see that that's been taken out. And why isn't this pulling out? Well, that's because we forgot to move that to always active. And insert locked fluids. can see that it is filling these up. It's just very slow. And the reason why is we're using basic tier water pipe. So, so we have to upgrade that as soon as we get more ports. And that's that's one reason why we're doing this is more quartz. So oh, I will want to show you guys how the pressurized ones work. But we need four quartz. And also, I think there is a wrench we need for this mod. So we'll take this and... Yeah, we only get one fuse quartz for four. Uh, give me one second here. Actually, um, at Ender Wrench, uh, the wrench for this mod is called a Yetta Wrench, and They are super easy to make. And the reason why you want to use a Yetta wrench instead of other wrenches is 
you can uh, honestly remove connections like so. Uh, and remove the things. Do not know why I keep doing that. I think there is a scroll feature for Yetta wrenches, but I don't remember what it is. Uh, Oh, I picked them up. Okay, so that that's what happened. And that. Yeah, see if you have the yellow wrench, you can shift. Right click and pick them back up. And since we're making so much. Uh, which water over here? It's just making those mushrooms like crazy. Um, We're going to have to pick these. I'm not sure exactly how to make the yellow wrench work properly. Um... I'll fix that between episodes. And thank you guys for being here. If you like this episode, hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, go right ahead and hit that dislike button. If you want to join us on this server, you're more than welcome to. You've got to go over to Twitch. Be a follower over there as well as over here. Say that you came from here. Let me know. Uh, and, uh, yeah, subscribers over there or over on mine or Crimson Fury's channel do get priority to be on the server. So until next time, y'all have a wonderful day. And until next, until then, later gators. <laughs>